the Free Speech Project Season 2. Harsh reality back on the microphone. Let's speak the change that we want to see. The Free Speech Project on TTRN. In the spotlight, Brendan O'Brien. I've learned the most revolutionary thing that I could do is wear my hair how it grows. Most post-colonial kids may never really know the revolution, trapped in twist and curl and lock. I already tell my mother I definitely will not cut my hair. Only let sun and nature's food touch my roots because my ancestry, it bears good fruit. I won't fall far like European apples on Trini soil, but eat from my own bounty, to be treated as though I fell from the tree of heaven, so... I hope to heal my hair with coconut oil blessings instead of some sick, twisted chemical temptation. I wear my rich Moby bark well. Rightly, my mom's afraid of those who'd want to cut me down. But I look many a Babylonian in his eyes and tell him, You can't sever the Samson from his source of strength. I passed a comb through this this morning. You can't add to my struggle. Even looking good to leave the house requires stronger muscles. But I rise to the challenge. Even this often ignored part of my body matches the moves of my spirit reaching up towards the sun. But we've always been trained to keep our blackest parts tame. When will the rebel lion pride decide to not cut their manes? I had family tell me I'd throw career hopes down the drain if I refrain from looking like people. As though human beings don't grow hair like mine. No wonder lighter minds from whiter kind could define us differently. I don't wear my hair like Willie Lynch. In fact, I wear it like strange fruit. Or better yet, like the branches of a tree unburdened by murder. They're the branches of a brother unburdened by surrender. My best friend's mother teases that when she sees my hair high like this, she knows I'm fighting for something. Truth is, I fight in all the time. Fighting for my hair and skin to determine a different destination. Growing hair like mine shows virtue like strength, patience, determination. Fighting for my hair to not be a symbol of strife because, yeah, sometimes coming it out does be hard like life. But I'd never deserve bald head Babylon barbers cutting down nappy head with straight razors made of bullet lead as though bad John behavior grew from my scalp. I went to a job interview like this. I went to a press interview like this. I've conducted interviews like this. With Stokely Carmichael's hair and maybe sometimes his fist, call it a roots revolution. One step away from Rasta Rebellion, a movement away from the trimming of darkly barked trees. Indian hair don't grow like roses any more than mine does grow like weeds. Syrian hair don't grow like money trees any more than mine favors weed smoking, nappy head, dance hall singer. So all those who figure that this kink is taboo too, I tell them that good trees stay grounded in a natural earth and good branches reach up towards the sun. I tell them that this is Samson's good hair day. Yet another Nazarene vow, this is a revolution. Trapped in twist and curl and lock. The Free Speech Project Season 2 on TTRN.